the divestment movement is about something quite simple. If it's wrong to cause climate change, it's wrong to profit from causing climate change. And the divestment movement has taken off all over the world with this as its rallying cry. So without further ado, today we're announcing that as of today, total divestment commitments have passed the $3.4 trillion mark. That's $3.4 trillion of assets under management, now fossil free. A growing number of investors a gr representing a growing amount of capital do not want to be associated with this industry any longer. It is a rogue industry, and that is what these commitments represent. It demonstrates that investors are taking climate risk extremely seriously. In addition to this making moral sense, it makes economic sense. Because the fossil fuel assets owned by those companies are risky assets, and they are assets that are losing value. And at the end of this COP, as governments from around the world come together to set the framework in place for moving us quickly into the fossil fuel free era, those assets are going to become less and less valuable. In fact, the Carbon Tracker Initiative estimates that 60 to 80 percent of the known fossil fuel reserves that are on the books of those fossil fuel companies simply have to remain in the ground unburned if we are to stay within the two degrees Celsius cap that science tells us is imperative if we're going to avoid huge ecological, social, economic, and moral peril. 